Hey guys, Connor Baldacci here with Baldacci Guitars, and today we're super excited to start this brand new video series where we're actually gonna take you through the creation of a bighorn guitar from start to finish. But it's not gonna be, you know, just like a normal how it's made type video where we just show you bits and snippets of each little operation. We are actually going to take you through one guitar start to finish. So it's gonna be a multi-part series where you are gonna see the creation of a guitar from the wood selection all the way down to final assembly. So we're super excited to get this started. We're actually gonna start with a hollow body guitar just because we have some really awesome wood that we just got in that is gonna go really well on a hollow body. So we're gonna start there. But before we get started, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, or if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but just let us know why in the comments and we might change it, we might not. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get to the wood selection. All right, so you'll have to forgive the awkward angle here, but this was the best way we could find to show you these woods. Um, we have everything picked out. Here is our mahogany body. Looks pretty good. And you can hear our neighbor sitting here hammering at the wall. Um, but anyway, yeah, our mahogany body. This has actually been routed with the outside bighorn shape. That's done well in advance um, because it gives the wood time to rest and get any movement that it might have out. Just helps the body woods be more stable. Our fretboard here is a really nice chunk of ebony. Um, when a lot of people think of ebony, you know, they want the jet black, no grain, no figure or anything, but I'm not as much a fan of that as I am unique fretboards. And I think the grain in this is super unique. Definitely one of my favorite fretboards we've ever seen here in the shop. And then that brings us to our top and back. Like I mentioned, we had some really special pieces picked out for this build specifically. And I mean, as you can see, you can really see why. And if we wipe this down real quick, we'll give you an idea of what it'll actually look like with finish on it. You'll really see that grain start to come out. Yeah, just gorgeous burl in there. You can see there's even like some flame up here at the top. And then yeah, that's just gonna make a killer top. And then it's actually really cool if we close this up real quick. Um, this is actually a sequential cut with our back here. So this is gonna be the back of the hollow body guitar. And if we open it up, you can see the grain is really similar. That's because these are what's called sequential cut, meaning that when it was growing in the tree, these two pieces were right next to each other. We'll wipe this down real fast so you can really see it. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. But if we close this back up, you can see this has that live edge on there. And actually this is a good time to talk about book matching too. If this top was still in the same state that this is, it would actually match right here. That's the only way I can really describe it. Anyway, as far as book matching goes, you hear that thrown out a lot in the guitar world. And what it is, is you can see this is, you know, one chunk of wood. And we'll take a bandsaw, actually, and cut right down the middle. So that way when you open it up, it's as identical as possible on either side. They're never going to be exactly the same because so you've taken out, essentially, a sixteenth of an inch of material in between. So anyway, yeah, the reason they call it book matching is because you open this up like a book. So 
those are the woods we picked out for this hollow body. Um, we are gonna get this top put into the CNC for the inner carve, and we're gonna get this piece glued up and rough cut. So now that we got the inside of our top cut out, we are going to go ahead and get our body cut, uh, all, get all of this stuff in the middle um, carved out of there. And we are also going to glue up our back plates and see where that gets us. completely forgot to turn the camera on as we were milling out the body here. Um, next up, we are actually going to be gluing our top into the body as is. The reason we're leaving it in this board is because this board is the only thing keeping our sides squared. So they were nice and squared off as we routed this body out. But by removing all of this in here, we're actually taking stress and tension out of what was this big chunk of wood and we're only going to be left with this outside rim. So we're going to glue our top on to kind of keep everything in place. Then after that, we are going to mill the top, do our neck pocket, pick up cavities, all of that stuff. Then mill the back, glue the back on, and we will have a body at the end of the day.
such fun. Oh, Hey, thanks for watching. If you like that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more guitar related content.